Hello, this is going to be the first uh, short video. I'm going to try to keep them around five minutes uh, on reverse engineering and Geomagic DesignX. We're going to focus on Geomagic DesignX, although the general approaches that I'm using here can extend to uh, really any reverse engineering software. I'm going to import an STL. And for this, we're going to use a part that, oh, here we go. Uh, is cast with some machine bits and it's important that we kind of have a look at the part and see that you know Yeah, we have some things that we can kind of identify here as cast surfaces just based on surface texture If you have the real part, obviously it's uh, even easier normally to see and other things that look really smooth and uh, are likely uh, machined So we could go just with a basic approach here where we start fitting reference planes to surfaces We have a big flat surface on the bottom here uh, some even outer flat surfaces uh, and so on uh, Or we can do something a little bit more sophisticated and start with a, a symmetry plane And we'll use that method. So I'm going to add a guess plane first and That's the way Geomagic Design X uh, likes it. So we draw a line We basically align the part to the view and use the draw line to get just close to where we think that symmetry plane might be. From there, we pick the mirror option and select both that guess plane and the mesh. And then it basically finds the actual symmetry plane, which is just slightly off of the, the guess in this case. From here, um, again, we could just continue along and use reference geometry, fit another plane to the top or bottom surface and then we'd need to do something to stop slide in the fore and aft direction. So, you know, we, we could put another plane, like I said, uh, here. And then we have some small surfaces here. And this would absolutely work. Three planes is all we need to do an alignment. And that's what we would have to do in a lot of other software. But in Geomagic Design X, we have a very advanced feature called the Mesh Sketch. So we're going to take our plane, symmetry plane that we've created, create a Mesh Sketch on that symmetry plane. And we're going to come all the way, actually, we'll keep the first section right in the center. And the reason we'll do that is we have this nice machine surface. Then we'll add another Mesh section and bring it right out so we intersect the outer holes and we can add again another one and flip it so it's the exact same distance on the opposite side of the part and it takes all three of these and projects them back to the center plane and we'll show them once it enters the mesh sketch environment this also shows us that our symmetry plane was pretty good these holes line up quite nicely and in here we're able to fit circles and we can do a center line between these circles and we could use this as the origin and this is one of our primary directions and the plane uh, obviously that we're sketching on as well and we exit the sketch turn the scan back on again and we can see our reference geometry sitting on the symmetry plane and then on the home tab we click our interactive alignment and we'll stick with the basic three two one three degrees of freedom for a plane two degrees for a vector and then the final uh, degree of freedom for a position so the the plane will be the xy plane that's just the way the three two one alignment works the vector will end up being the x-axis so in this case, I, I don't really want to pick the vertical portion. I would rather pick the, and I'm going to hide the scan here just so I can get to it, the horizontal line. And then for the position, though, I'd like that splitting the two holes. We could also pick one of the holes. It'd be no problem. So on the left, we have the geometry we used. And on the right-hand side, we have a preview of the result. And so we can see here, this will be our new front view once this is done. So we hit Accept. And in Geomagic Design X, the reference geometry doesn't get transformed along with the scan. So we can basically delete it. But if we hit front view and zoom in, we can see that the part it looks quite nicely aligned and you can drag it to the edges of the viewport. 
can see that as well. Look at the left view for a quality check, right view, top view. And that's normally the basic way of how we quality check an alignment. Uh, at this point, uh, we're ready to start doing additional sketches and um, you know create our extrusion geometry, uh, revolve geometry, whatever we're going to use to create this part. But that's going to be for a later video. So thank you very much.